When I was in elementary school, I had a friend who had diabetes. Several times a day, she'd raise a hand, give a knowing look to our teacher, and then she'd head off to the bathroom to prick her finger, test her blood, and give herself an insulin shot. For Abby, it was normal life. For some of the other kids, it was a little scary. She wasn't really treated differently, in part, I think, because her personality was so bright. Her smile made it okay for her friends. Now there's a life-changing medical advance for all of those with diabetes. It's a bloodless detection to inform injection. Here's Allie Ward to explain. There are three letters I'd like you to learn. CGM. That stands for Continuous Glucose Monitor, a life-changing innovation for people with diabetes. Instead of pricking a finger to get a point-in-time blood sugar reading, a CGM monitors blood sugar levels continuously, showing speed and direction of the glucose change. This is Jake Leach, the Chief Technology Officer at Dexcom, and I met him in San Diego to discuss this life-changing technology. I imagine it must feel like magic, but it's not magic, it's technology and science, right? Can you explain how does it work? A continuous glucose monitor, CGM, is a patch that goes on the skin, and part of that patch is a little tiny sensor probe that is the size of a couple human hairs. And what happens when you put the sensor on is that little probe goes under the skin. And what it's doing is at the tip of the sensor, it's measuring glucose inside the body. It's measuring the sugar inside the body and then sending that information to a display device so that the user can see it. The only display device needed now is a smartphone, which most people already carry, and it's there that users can check their levels. So how did the innovation of glucose monitoring develop to this level of sophistication? Through decades of iteration, of course. In the late 60s at the University of Madison, Wisconsin, there was a researcher named Stuart Updike, and he wanted to come up with a way to measure glucose continuously and so he and a number of other researchers spent 30 years working on glucose sensors. Today, each waterproof sensor and patch last 10 days. I'm actually wearing one now. The readings are being sent from my sensor here to my cell phone, and I don't have diabetes, but we're always testing them, and you can actually see my readings are quite flat because I don't have diabetes, but that little bump there was the latte I had before this interview. The device can be worn in a number of places on the body. The abdomen, arm, and lower back are popular placements. So this is our G6 applicator. It's very, very simple. The backing of the adhesive is removed, the product is stuck on, and then it's as simple as pressing this button. And what happens is the needle delivers the sensor, a very small little tiny needle delivers the sensor and then pulls back out and leaves just the sensor behind. And then you take the little G6 transmitter, the, the part that communicates the readings, mm -hmm just snaps right in. And with that snap, that's one step toward increased awareness and better health.